We have a major update on the Senate today. This might be actually the, the biggest update we have done. We have a bunch of info we've gotten from the insurance company that we've gotten from the shop here. Um, let's head inside and talk about that. Hi, Aiden. Adding to this, we may have a major influencer involved in this whole Senna debacle. Um, he's been texting me back and forth today a lot, so we'll get into that a little bit later too. We're currently at Exact Performance in Oswego, Illinois. Exact Performance has done a lot of work for us. They did your Panam wide body, they fixed the front end of Steve's limo, they've done some work on Steve's McLaren's in the past, so mm -hmm. the Senna's here right now. Teeny um, little baby girl. Yeah, they've done a carbon repair, repair on the, some cars. The and, carbon uh, repair was incredible. They're literally I just masters. had a little scuffing under one of the side pieces and like, it came back perfect, you would never know. It looks OEM, that's nuts. It does. But Damon and Ralph are homies, so if you guys need any carbon work or McLaren's or pretty much anything, Exact performance, check them out. Heard that, player. Oh, this is the electric SLS that came out like back in 2010. What? That's like full great. electric? Full electric. What? 12 years ago. Isn't that crazy? Is it done? Did we fix it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, 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 the door's <laughs> off. Oh, the door's off. It like, oh God, this crazy. poor thing. This poor thing. Look at this. I remember, Look at that. Oh, dude. Man. I remember picking this car up from Detroit, how excited I was. It was actually under something just like this the day I picked it up. Oh yeah, I'll we shipped a photo. It was really cool. I yes. drove to Detroit to pick it up and I remember like, it was Steve's first hypercar. I was so yes. excited and nervous That's and like, back all the when, emotions. Back when Tommy did like actual labor. Yes. Now it's and all now just... I just do burr. <laughs> <laughs> do the insert the guy with all the question marks. <laughs> um, now you just lay. Now That's I just better. lay. Now oh, you just lay. That is better. I should I, I messed that up. Tommy. Anyways, now it's all effed up. And that makes me sad. It is. It's very sad. Very, very, very excited. Oh, the suspension cracked right here. I never saw that because the door was on. All right. This here is the factory exhaust, and I'm also going to catch up with you on why I am bringing this here too in just a little bit. Does it look better or worse than you thought it would, seeing it with the door worse. off? Worse. Yeah, I think so too. The, the, worse. The monocoque is, is way worse than cock. I thought it would be, which is a bummer. And I know cocks. Steve, Steve's seen some cocks in his day. The, the worst problem I, I used to have was the, this, the glass panel cracked and then this piece fell off up until, well, and then the whole engine debacle for a year where I couldn't get the tune right. That was fun. I liked those days when it was just, the tune's not working. The engine thing's cracked. My little felt thing there fell off, but now there's this. So apparently this piece was covering the door sill and that's why I'm like, this looks way worse. They removed it and you see the cracking. Is that what was hiding the cock? That hid this. So we didn't see that before because that piece was on top of there. So is the cock worse? Yeah, cocks and holes. The monocoque was worse than you guys yeah, expected once you saw that, right? It. Wow. This thing was just glued on, which yeah, I guess I makes sense. I thought it was a part of it, too. You didn't know. I started messing up. Wow. Uh, Interesting. So this uh, used to lay right... Okay, well... <laughs> Tommy, goes, dude, look what you did to my car. 200 grand. Um, this used to lay right here. That's so sad. So this looks so that much hit better. It. That hit it. Wow. That looks so much better than the actual damage. That's crazy. It's just foam and Velcro. this is what That's saved. It. This foam is what Velcro. this is what saved life. And you know how I feel about him? I think he's a beeping son of a beep, 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 mother beeping beep, beep, and I'm gonna kick his. Basically, there are two options. The insurance company is gonna write me a check for around 1.3 to 1.4 million dollars. I have already basically been offered that, so it's gonna be right around that range. What they give you is cash value of the vehicle, so it's what they think that it would cost me to go buy it plus tax. And that is right around the replacement value of this vehicle. Now the repair bill, mm, the repair bill is crazy, but that's another option. Now, if I take the cash value, that 1.3 to $1.4 million, they're gonna classify this title as salvage slash rebuilt. And that's definitely gonna hurt the value a little bit more. I mean, this is a well-known car at this point, so it's, it's gonna be hurt any way you look at it. But what this is gonna do is make it a lot harder to get the title re-registered in the car, basically ready to go, but it's doable. A lot of people do salvage rebuilt, salvage rebuilt. Our R8 was actually that way, and that took like a year. The other option, is that they'll pay for the repair and I can keep this and it will just show that it had an accident, but not that it was that it was totaled. I think the repair bill again, mm. one million eighty-seven thousand dollars <laughs> to fix this using genuine OEM parts. Mm. The first time I heard that repair bill, I went <clears throat> covering a little bit more on that one million eighty-seven thousand dollars. What that means is everything is replaced, including the cock. The monocoque is like four hundred thousand dollars of that repair cost. I'm not going to get it fixed for a million eighty-seven and get a new cock. Like that's just too much. I think that that's having a accident on a car and then putting $1.1 million into repairing it, that's just not an option. So the second option that Tommy and I worked out was you can actually go have the cock repaired. Yes, a repaired cock is still, a, uh, John, John, for those of you that are a little older like me, John Bobbitt had his cock repaired. This cock can be repaired. <laughs> well, for viewers who haven't repaired cocks before, monococks, 
Um, it won't be quite as rigid, but it will still get the job done. Nicely done, nicely done. It won't ever be as good. If I went the route of actually having the cock repaired versus replaced, and then buying used parts, which we actually found access to a bunch of used parts way cheaper than OE. So used parts, repair the cock. I can get this thing fixed for actually around $250,000. That's parts and labor. And then I think that I can pick up the vehicle either from Copart or work something out with the insurance for right around 300 grand. 300 grand plus 250 grand, I can have a fully functional Senna for $550,000. So really quick, just to sum up, three different options. I can be 550 grand all in repairing it, and buying the thing off of Copart. I can be at the Proper repair with all the OEM parts, new cock, about $1.1 million, or I can just get a $1.3 to $1.4 million check and go buy a new set. So, so the tricky part is when a oh, cock's damaged, it's yes. never as hard as it used to be. Yes. Which makes it less safe. Yes, um, indeed. So and you do want to get a new monocoque, which makes it extremely yes. expensive in this and, case. And posing the question, um, we've gotten some news that, yeah, it'll be okay, but we've also heard that, I mean, when posing the direct question, like, will I be safe with my family in it? And, and when people kind of hesitate to answer, that's enough for me to say no on this. Now, that doesn't mean that it's not, and that they, but I don't like ambiguity. I don't like yeah. there being an unknown, so. Well, I didn't even have to hit twice. You'd have to get hit in the same spot, yes. and that, that's true. when you'd lose. But I, I'm not going to take that risk. I don't want them driving. Frankly, I don't want them driving a wrecked car other than the Audi R8. <laughs> that and one that was light. That, that frame damage. That had, yeah, that had super light front end damage. Like, but that's, that's not also not a carbon safety. monocoque car. Exactly. It also is. Yeah, it exactly. didn't, it didn't the not going to be as hard. That was fine. No, yeah, no. It's still a solid cock. No, a solid cock. This cock was real hard until it got hit. Like, <laughs> this cock saved a life. It did because it was so hard. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, now, and it may not next time because it's not as hard as it used to be. That's right. That's so right. Carbon, the is carbon monocoques save lives. Do they make Viagra for cars? <laughs> Maybe we could just crush some pills up. Now to tie up the two loose ends of the influencer that we were talking about and then the exhaust. Houston Crosta really wants this vehicle. That's kind of his thing, right? He, him and Tavares buy vehicles that were wrecked and they rebuild them and they make them work really well again. So him and I are trying to work out a deal, and so he will he will take this, fix it, and then maybe we'll shoot some potential uh, future vlogs with him out in Vegas. I mean, we're going to go visit him anyway. And Houston is a really good dude. I don't think it could go to a better person. If you do want to see him build this, assuming that's what works out, go check out his vlog. You guys can uh, can can check out the build as it goes. And honestly, I would rather go to him because I'll see it. I'll still be able to see this thing get rebuilt and done and be a slight part of its journey versus it going to Copart and me may possibly never seeing it again. Unless Tavares buys it from uh, Copart. Although that Tavares just bought the P1 and I think that might have set him back a little bit. Agreed, yeah. Comment below and let me know if you think you should go to Houston or Tavares. Now, why, I'm gonna, why am I gonna keep the aftermarket exhaust? Well, because I have to get another McLaren Senna. There's no way I can just be without Thanks, Tommy. I got you. This is a heavy factory exhaust. It is. It is. <clears throat> nice. RIP. We're going to have them swap this out so that I can keep the aftermarket exhaust. We had Unobtainium build us a fully custom exhaust. It was the first one ever to be released. Possibly, the, I, I still don't know if anyone else with the Senna has had their swapped out. I'm not sure. And maybe the tips one look of... so much better. You should get, look, go, get them side by side. No, bro. Those tips no. Are crazy. No. <laughs> no. It's like, go home. Oh, the European spec. But it's the opposite. So the European spec has one exhaust up in the bottom, two on top. This mm -hmm. one's one on top, two oh, nice. on the bottom. But it looks just so like Tommy likes oh, Yeah, these look so much better than the they two. They do. So much better. One of the three options. So ultimately, it comes down to option number one, and that is insurance company writes me a $1.3 to $1.4 million check. And, and it's what do I do with that? I don't know if I'm going to go buy a center right away. Uh, frankly, I need some cash to go put it down on my Yesco. The Yesco payment is due. It seems to be a pretty good timing for that. I'm allowed to use that money for whatever I want to at the end of the day because I have a wrecked vehicle. So I think I might put it down on my Yesco so I can get that Yesco by the end of this year, folks. This year, I will have a Koenigsegg Yesco that we spec'd out and it looks amazing. Check that video out below. Other things that I can do with, with this. So, so I, either, I either have to put that money down on the Yesco or I can go buy a Bugatti EB110 or the Veyron and just get that out of the way because I want to do it again this year anyway. And you should hit that subscribe button right now and the notification button if you want to see probably the only person on YouTube that has an EB110. I don't know of anybody that drives this thing around and I will put some miles on that thing. Same with the Veyron. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun looking at Veyrons and there's a few in the UK that are really clean specs and they're both uh, the Vitesse. Yeah, that, that, I love that blue one. It's, is it black and... It's blue. Really, it looks super dark blue yeah. with like a darker medium brown interior. And then the other one was, it actually had the Tiffany blue. I love that spec. And I think you told me, and, and like, I think I hated it. And now I saw it yesterday as usual. And I'm like, that actually looks pretty good. You should see Isn't it. it There's a photo right here, but it looks, the Tiffany yes. blue is super cool on the, the test. Yes. But they don't list the price. So I'm waiting on them to get back to me. I think I emailed them a month ago and they never got back to me. So. And Natalia, how do you feel about this? Living in my own world, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> We're like, mic up, Natalia. We're going to get Natalia's you in this like vlog. Natalia's like on Tinder as we're talking about the setup. She's like, well. Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, find me anywhere. Oh, boy. <laughs> yep. I was going to say some shit.
I'm, I am so sad to see this thing go. I really wanted to do everything to keep it. I love this spec. I, I have not seen a better spec than this, maybe other than that Chicago uh, motor car one that was fully carbon that they yeah. still have. These are going for pretty expensive. I think the market's gonna taper down a little bit on this. So I, I think it's probably better to wait it out. I'm gonna get one. Did you just fart, Natalia? No. <laughs> She, yeah, she, I look I out. Her. I look out of the corner. I heard her. Oh. I heard her. She's <laughs> I'm ripping ass. Lawrence, go back. Insert a fart noise right before I say that. That's really funny. <laughs> That's. I'm farting. Natalia. Do it. That's my job, Natalia. I do the farting in the videos. We're screaming in this corner. <laughs> I couldn't. I tried. I legit had one. Lawrence, you should go at it. You should go at it one in anyway. There we go. Now, now all is even in the world, folks. And I need to go change my britches. <laughs> Follow us on our journey to find a new Senna to get the new That's Bugattis. Right. Lots of fun this year. We are adding lots of cars to the collection. I am, I am pumped for what At this At the end of the holds. day, I'm sad to see this car go because it, it was your first hacker. It's a monumental part of Steve's collection, it was. our channel. It and if it, if it was safe to repair, we would have. Yep. And that's what makes me sad. Who lifts their leg to fart? Only men do that. Well, you no, did I was it. Say, you, I did it. Well, you just did it. 